Swati Cup and welcome to Tiger Today. Don't forget we've got the Thailand Yacht Show coming up at the Aupor Grand Marina. That's starting on February the 22nd. It'll be running for four days. We've also got the Phuket City of Gastronomy event and that's going to be running in three different locations at three different times over the next month. The first event's going to be taking place from February the 21st to the 23rd at the Tai Hua Museum on Krabi Road. The second event will be on March the 2nd to the 4th at Jung Salon in Patong. And the third will take place on March the 24th to the 26th at the Limelight Avenue Mall in Phuket Town. Each of those events are going to have 30 stalls with authentic Phuketian food. Sounds like a pretty good time. All right, let's move to today's other main news stories. Thailand's most infamous tiger petting zoo may be about to open under a new name. The so-called Tiger Temple, which was raided and shut down following gruesome discoveries two years ago, will reopen this month with 24 new tigers. A Bangkok tour operator also confirmed it would be offering trips to the new zoo once it opened. The Tiger Temple opened two decades ago and grew into a popular and profitable tourist attraction where tourists paid to take selfies with tigers. It was long dogged by accusations that it bred and trafficked tigers and other wildlife. After years of failed interventions, wildlife officials finally raided it in 2016 following several standoffs with temple monks who blocked their way. Following the fire that destroyed 25 houses on Kopi P, injuring nine, Krabi's governor has pointed out the island's shortcomings and unpreparedness for fires. He says mobile water pumps and fire hydrants would be installed as a short-term solution to the reported lack of water sources and fire engines to fight Tuesday's fire. A one-stop service centre has been set up to aid the hundreds of tourists who've lost their belongings and ID. Three Thais, two Brazilians, three Argentinians and one Israeli sustained injuries including minor burns and smoke inhalation, but have been discharged after receiving treatment at Copy P Hospital and a private clinic. Police say the fire broke out in a restaurant at the October Hostel near the entrance to Soy Slinky. Police have uncovered a collection of weapons as well as four pairs of ivory tusks as they searched a residence belonging to Italian Thai development president Prem Chai Kanasuta as part of their investigation into the tycoon's alleged poaching in a wildlife sanctuary in Kanchanaburi province. The search was conducted simultaneously in six locations, including Bangkok, as well as Ratchaburi, Nakhon Ratchasima and Kanchanaburi provinces, where the other suspects live. The search at Prem Chai's residence in Bangkok revealed 23 rifles, 13 shotguns, two pistols, 11 rifle scopes and 1,500 rounds of ammunition. Prem Chai and his three co-accused were arrested on Monday at a campsite in a wildlife sanctuary in Kanchanaburi for allegedly poaching protected animals in prohibited areas. National Police Chief Police General Chuck Chip Chajinda has instructed police to review and practice strategies to handle armed suspects to minimise harm to officers. This follows an incident on Tuesday when a Chombury man high on methamphetamines shot dead a deputy police inspector who tried to stop him from threatening his neighbours with guns. A 39-year-old Chombury man has surrendered to police after he allegedly shot dead the deputy chief and wounded a 37-year-old police volunteer as they tried to stop him from intimidating his neighbours. And Britain, France, the United States and five other countries asked the UN Security Council yesterday to discuss the fate of hundreds of thousands of Rohingya refugees driven from Myanmar. The council will hold a meeting next week to hear the UN High Commissioner for Refugees report on the crisis sparked by an army crackdown in Myanmar's Rakhine state last August. Sweden, Poland, the Netherlands, Kazakhstan and Equatorial Guinea requested the talks along with the three three permanent council members. Well, that's all the main news stories from around Thailand today. Let's check the weather and in Bangkok, 31 and partly cloudy. In Chiang Mai today, 32 and mostly sunny. Down in Phuket, mostly sunny. Uh, 31 is the top with fresh easterly winds. Well, that's all we've got time for in Tiger today with thanks to Thai Visa Property and the Thailand Yacht Show. We'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Thank you.